Well, I know that we're going to use every tool at our disposal to fight him on this unconstitutional power grab that really will badly damage our military readiness. And we're going to do that in the courts where we have legislative tools at our disposal. I will hold a hearing when I come back, when we come back into session in a week of our Military Construction Appropriations Subcommittee. And we'll bring the military leadership in front of our subcommittee and ask them what's more important. Is there a crisis that warrants taking funds from projects that keep our nation safe, that we've already appropriated, and, and, and go with the president's judgment versus Congress? And, and ask them. And I have a feeling that it's going to, they'll be hard pressed to tell us that building a border wall that they've basically already said isn't necessary is more important than keeping our troops safe, prepared, ready to keep our nation safe. It jeopardizes our national security. It threatens our military readiness. It leaves our troops vulnerable. And, and it does that by doing things like taking funds we've already allocated but not yet spent, that, but they haven't yet spent, from our intelligence centers, from our military readiness centers, from the schools on military bases across the world. The president just lies whenever it suits him. There, we have actually historic lows of apprehensions at our border and of uh, attempted border crossings. But there is no crisis at our border. There are no drugs streaming across our border. In fact, most drug interdictions occur at our border crossings. Ninety percent of them do. And so there's just no one that, has, has, uh, that, that actually knows what they're talking about. None of his military leadership, no national experts have agreed with the president that there's a crisis that warrants a national emergency. I think he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. He wanted the Republicans to support the bill that we passed last night. Um, he basically said, I want Republicans to vote yes, and he'll take care of the rest. And that's exactly what he's doing. It shouldn't be any surprise to anybody. Um, when the president says he's going to do something, he typically does it. You know, he said when he was candidate, you know, people are like surprised, like, oh, my God, he's doing the stuff. Well, he said it when he was candidate. Trump, now he's President Trump, and he's putting the security of the American people ahead of um, partisan politics, and I fully respect that. We know it's going to be an uphill battle. Um, I mean, even when we controlled uh, the House, our Speaker engaged in some litigation on pro-life issues that um, I'm aware of. So it's not uncommon for the Speaker to do that. And we also know there's some very activist judicial courts out there. And so we're just going to have to, you know, keep fighting for what's right. I mean, securing the American border, stopping the criminal aliens, the known people with known terrorist affiliations, the trafficking of children, and the, and the, the criminal narcotics, the deadly narcotics that are coming across this, our poorest border. If that's not a national security, I don't know what is.